Will Lisa Eldridge's skin tint and lip pencil work for mature and dry skin? Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup Maria from Miami. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today we're talking all things Lisa Eldridge. We're going to try on her skin tint. We're going to try on her new lip pencil. We're going to do some comparisons. We're going to do some swatches. We're going to talk about is it worth a purchase if you have mature or dry skin. Let's do it. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Why do we say that? Under the weather. Today we're talking about Lisa Eldridge's new skin tint and new lip liner. Here they are. They're teeny weeny. Everything is so small nowadays. I don't get it. This is her new skin tint. I am not a skin tint person at all, but uh, it's Lisa Eldridge, so I have to try it. And here is her pencil. My shade or the shade that I purchased is ON or 0N, I'm not sure. I come to you bare face. I have, I put on moisturizer and serum hours ago because I find that this makeup is best when you don't put anything underneath except for her spray. I did that once and I'll show a picture so you can see it. And let's, let's talk about the product. This is how Lisa describes her products on her website. My two new launches are inspired by this lifelong love of creating the most naturally enhanced complexions with the most true to skin nuanced tones. The unique hybrid formula of the enhancing tint works to seamlessly even tone, lift shadows, tone down redness, and boost luminosity. Think your skin, but on its best day. Skin True Tones are at the heart of this effortless and easy to use naturally enhancing lip pencil. Exceptionally easy to use lip pencils in nuanced natural lip shades to sculpt and shade your de desired lip shape while staying true to your tone. I'm gonna use the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist. That's what she used, that's what Lisa used in her video to prep her skin. I've tried this a couple of ways and what works, what seems to work for me is either not having anything on my face and then just using this or putting on skincare and waiting hours before and then using this and then putting on the makeup. That's what seems to work. But anyway, let's, let's try it out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's just uh, fan it a little bit. And then shake, shake, shake. And so what seems to work for me, is this dry enough? What seems to work for me is <laughs> putting a lot on. I'm not a skin tint person. I am a medium coverage person because I've lot, I have a lot of imperfections that I would like. I feel more comfortable covering up. I mean, we're all perfect the way we are, but what I like to do is to have um, cover up a little bit the pores, the acne scars. I have skin cancer scars, so I'm gonna not use two drops like Lisa recommended. I'm gonna use a lot more. So we'll see. So here. Here, 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 and here. So that's a lot more than two drops. So I'm gonna try to do this while looking in the viewfinder so you can have the experience. I should put on my glasses, that will help me. But So it, um, it does cover, it probably is a medium coverage if you add, if you use a lot like I'm doing. Let me see, let me take a peek. See now I would add more 
um, on my T-zone, mostly my nose and my cheeks because that's where I get a little red. So, and it does build up. So, and I will show you. So, here and here. And this is a problem area right here that I have with my large pores. And that's a problem area with any, any makeup. I typically use Shiseido, mm -hmm. the skin lifting one. It's an excellent, excellent medium coverage foundation. I absolutely love it. In the color cashmere, which is a little bit warm for my skin, but I like it because it makes me look a little healthier than my pale self. So let me take a peek in the mirror and see if I've missed any spots. No, not too bad. So this is the foundation. Okay, let's talk lip liner. Lisa Eldridge's Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencil in the color ON. Here it is again, so you can see the color. I have some lip balm on my lips. Blot that out because my lips are very dry, so I need lip balm, and I'm just gonna get close, <laughs> close and personal. I'm going to try overlining them a little bit. Okay. So it's very close to my lip color. I don't have a lot of color in my lips naturally. It's smooth. It's comfortable. It didn't dry down too much when I tried it before. But I can say I am very, very picky when it comes to lip liners. I've purchased all of them, really have. I'll show you. This is the Lisa Eldridge one that I purchased and, and I never really was a fan. It was too dry. I purchased Charlotte Tilbury. Also, doesn't work for me, it's too dry. I purchased House Labs, which is okay. I don't know, it doesn't seem to work. I think it's almost too emollient, so it doesn't really stay on my lips. I've tried Patrick Ta. Again, kind of, I'm not crazy about this type of pencil, but it does stay on the lips, so that's a good thing. I just purchased Victoria Beckham. It's a little bit dry, but it also stays on your lips a lot. Patrick Ta and Victoria Beckham, they stay on your lips for a long time. But the one that I absolutely love, which cost way too much, is uh, Sicily. And this is the color beige. Like, I'll have all the colors swatched for you so you can compare the colors. But as far as the texture, this is very smooth and it stays on my lips and it doesn't dry out my lips and that's why I bit the bullet and purchased this. And I wanna see if Lisa Eldridge's lip liner can compete. We'll see. Okay, now I wanna show you how blush lays on the uh, dried skin tint. So I have the new Patrick Ta blush is one of his latest colors in just enough and if you know you know Patrick Ta's blushes are gorgeous so I'm gonna try I'm gonna go ahead and put some on and so you can see how it works with the Lisa Aldridge skin tint so gonna do Okay. I'm just using the powder formula because 
Patrick Ta says powder first and then cream. So let's try that. Let me check real quick. That's a, a nice, <laughs> that's a lot of blush. I would probably blend it out a little bit more because it's definitely a strong color, but it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream portion on my finger and punch it up even more. Okay, so I think you can see that the, I did not powder, by the way, I did not powder my face. I think with this skin tint, for my skin, you don't want to powder. I think that both the cream and the blush formula went on without a problem, so thumbs up. And can you hear my neighbors? They are doing some karaoke business, and having a good old time, but man are they loud. Oh, also I wanted to mention that I really like that the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil comes with a sharpener. Yes, um, Victoria Beckham, you have to pay extra for the sharpener, so. And I, of course, have done that, so. And so my initial thoughts on Lisa Eldridge's enhancing skin tint and new lip pencil. I think that if you have good skin and maybe normal to normal to dry, maybe a little oily skin or combination skin, you'll probably like this. If you, you're a natural person, you like very little coverage, it's a beautiful, lovely, well thought out foundation, skin tint. It lasts for a long time, it covers well. The thing is, if you have dry skin or mature skin, most likely you, you may want to pass because it takes um if you have if you have mature and dry skin you know that you do a lot to your skin to keep it plump and and i prefer a luminous finish i like even though i have medium coverage uh, foundations i like that luminous look and i think with this particular skin tint it's more of it dries down if you have dry or mature skin if you have normal to oily or combination skin most likely you're oils come out and so it becomes more of a luminous finish if that makes any sense but i'm i'm gonna keep playing with it and see i love the color i love the coverage i just you know want to be able to put on sunscreen and skincare and wait a half an hour and put on foundation not like today i actually you know waited a couple of hours before i put on the foundation okay the i'm also kind of on the fence with the lip pencil i like it the color is not the best but it works it's smooth it stays on for a long time as well i like it i don't know if i love it yet i'm gonna keep trying because as i mentioned the sicily is my favorite and it's it's a hard act to follow but i will keep playing with it and i'll leave a message below for, you know, if i have any further thoughts <laughs> on the lip balm so that's it, that's my video. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for staying this long. Don't forget, abortion is healthcare. Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. Peace. Oh, and subscribe.